Yo, what's up guys, Shujiki Dink here with another video to entertain or assist you in becoming the better Injustice 2 player. And this video is all about YouTube, kind of. Um, I thought that I'd make a video, I've been meaning to make this for a while actually, I'm kind of like how I make and structure my YouTube videos. Um, it's in, I'm recording in a lower quality right now because I want to show you my actual editing program and I think that having it record in 1920 by 1080 while also having that program open as well will cause my computer to crash because it's not the greatest. But uh, I want to be able to show it to you. So we're just going to go ahead and film just one ranked set right now. Just uh, for those that come for the gameplay. You can get something out of this too. And if you're not interested in tips and tricks and all that. Blue Looks like we're going to be playing Blue Beetle. Usually I cut this part out because it's just kind of a lot of waiting. <clears throat> and I'm not that funny. <laughs> I used to leave it in on my Mortal Kombat videos. And I found that I was just like grasping too hard for jokes and just wasting time so I usually cut it out but anyways we got Blue Beetle here oh, what in the name of Kelly Clarkson was that this guy's kicking my ass nice mix ups I would drop that bad punish There we go. That was a reset. Oh, I got no meter for the enhanced. Luckily, Beetle doesn't do that much damage, so. Just had to use a bar meter. <laughs> he used two of his, but. Ah, uh, I tried to air and air him. He beat me to it. <coughs> Still got this stupid cough I've had for like months now. Oh, I thought that would hit him for sure. Keep it unclashable. Oh, I almost hit him with that. Ah, I shouldn't have let him clash. He's gonna get a little lot of health back there. Booyah, Grandma. This guy knows what he's doing. I'm impressed. Wins. I've been asked before, well, we have this little intermission, why I decided to put my fat face in these videos. <laughs> it's because uh, it adds a little bit more personality. It does cut off a little bit of the gameplay, so I apologize for that, but I, I do feel like Anybody can kind of upload Injustice videos, you know? So by kind of adding a little bit of personality to it and showing myself and commentating, it makes it a little bit more personal than just like, here's some Firestorm gameplay. <laughs> Come watch my mediocre Firestorm. So <clears throat> that's why I do that. You gotta, you gotta find a connection with your audience, right? Got Mr. Bane in the tournament skin. I have transcended to my ultimate form. You blew Venom? Begin. Okay, he's... Got all his Venom. Last thing I want to do is let him... Uh... Oh, he's on his... Yeah, I didn't look. Can't armor him when he's on his last... Uh... Gotta go like that. Read it, air dash backwards and punish. Ooh. 
low profile. Very nice. Went for the risk, going with the wake up. Ooh, I didn't realize he ate projectiles on that. <clears throat> Ooh, see ya! <laughs> There's not a whole lot you can do against Firestorm with that kind of health. He's just gonna chip you out one way or another. It's too bad. By the way, if you guys ever use a green screen, like I'm using behind me, and you're having some issues with it kind of shadowing, um, it took me a long time to figure it out, and it was really frustrating because there's like little specks you can see here and there. Um, usually that's the white balance, so you want to adjust your white balance. That's a pretty specific thing, but I figured I meant to mention it because it gave me a lot of hell when I first got my green screen. Like, Why is it doing this? It's not fully transparent. But of course, if you increase your white balance or take away some of the color out of your videos, then you have to just play around with those things a little bit. But white balance seemed to be the one that was the culprit for me. And good lighting. You need good lighting. Hellboy. Most hellish of all the boys. Oh, I didn't finish my string. Nice armor. <clears throat> I built a ton of meter right there, though. Ah, oh, I thought I could go underneath it. No, you're right. That's advantage. Oh, I thought that was going to cross me up. Better clash. Just try it, dumbass. <laughs> so this clash goes up pretty funny. Oh, I was really hoping there was a transition there. Shit. It's on the other side. Oh, I think he's trying for the little baby thing in the corner. So that if I killed him, then he could come back. <laughs> okay, so part one of our uh, How to YouTube video is done. And that's uh, recording our match. So now that we've recorded our match, we're going to go and edit it. Okay, so now we are in Adobe Premiere, and this is what I use to edit all my videos. So you'll see that the volume is kind of low. Um, I had to find a good balance of um, game volume and mic volume. Unfortunately, it does is a little bit low on the low side, so I always adjust the audio gain by about seven. Seems to be nice. <clears throat> then you want to cut out the awkward start of the video, so I just kind of zoom in like this and use the kind of voice points here to find out where I want to cut it and start it so there's nothing there. Yo, what's up guys? Should you get in here with another video to entertain or... There you go. I'm going to do the same thing at the end of the video. Ash, we're going to go and edit it. Bam. Just like that. It's done. So normally that's where I would go to uh, render the video, which would basically like produce it, make it like finalized in its final form. Um, but I can't do that yet because I got to record all this stuff for you. So I'm going to record this first, and then we're going to go back and do it all again. Um, but usually while the video is rendering, I will make my thumbnail for the video. And this, there's some tips here that uh, you might want to know. You don't need a super high quality. I use a program called GIMP 2.0. It's basically like a shitty Photoshop. Um, but I don't do anything on it except for make thumbnails, so I'm not an artist in that way. So uh, 
Usually I'll start 1280 by 720 is fine. And then I use the uh, the same background, it's called white background five. You, you've, I'm sure you noticed it for all my thumbnails. Um, <clears throat> no matter what, uh, what video I'm doing. The reason I do this is, is kind of like branding. Like people will see this thumbnail and they'll just know that it's my video. They'll see this background and they'll just know that it's my video. Um, now this next part's kind of interesting and a lot of people don't really think about it. But if we go, so we got this little image of Firestorm. I'm gonna bring them over to the side here. Now the reason that I always put the characters on this side is if you look at your YouTube, like um, a lot of the times in this bottom right hand corner, there's a little um, timestamp thing that tells you how long the video is or something like that. Um, and there's also can sometimes be things up here in the top right. So I tend to put stuff that I don't really want to be covered by that or I don't really care um, over in this corner. So that's why I always put my characters there. So Firestorm, for example, I mean, his face is right in the middle of it and like, so what, a little bit of his torso is cut off by the timestamp, that's fine. And the same thing with my Injustice logo. So that tends to get cut off if I put it too high, so I kind of put it just a little bit kind of angled in the corner, but uh, I see a lot of other YouTubers, I'm not gonna name them, but they always put Injustice 2 like right across the bottom and then it gets cut out by the little timestamp. So this way it's small, it's out of the way, but you can still kind of see it and read it. And it's the same thing with the text. You always want the text over on the left hand side because that's where people uh, are, it's easier to read it. Again, if you put it in the bottom, it might get cut off. Um, one of the one of uh, a good friend of mine, I Sunnyside. If you haven't seen his channel out, he does a lot of like gear related stuff. Uh, check him out. I'll post a little shout out thing here. I always like helping out the smaller YouTubers because uh, Super actually gave me a shout out a year or two ago, and it really helped the channel out. So I'd like to kind of pay it forward now that we're having uh, some more eyes on us. So go check him out. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna put uh, why is this here on our thumbnail. And then I, I just, I've always just kind of stuck with the Mortal Kombat title, the font, just kind of an ode to Mortal Kombat, and it's nice and easy to read. And then uh, I chose the white background as well because black on white really like makes it pop a little bit. It's a lot easier to read. So now you know why the text is kind of on this side as opposed to the right side. So when you see this thumbnail afterwards, you'll be like, oh yeah, no, I get it now. So then we export it, and I'll just say, why is this? I name it just shitty names because a lot of the times I'll never use them again. So, and I just kind of delete them like month by month. So, that's it. We've made our thumbnail, and uh, now that our video is all rendered and ready to go, then we're going to upload it, and I will give you some tips on uploading. So, I'm uploading a video right now. It is not, um, it is not the video because obviously I'm still recording the video. But uh, I wanted to upload something to kind of show you what I do with uh, with upload stuff. So. First of all, we need a title for our video, and I need to be real with you guys for a second here. We need to talk about clickbait, because I get people all the time that are like, you're just some clickbait dude, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. clickbait, I think, feel like they don't really understand the term clickbait. Like, usually clickbait is promising something in the title or the thumbnail and never delivering it. Um, I like to intrigue and never deceive was something that I heard once and I really like that. So yes, it can be a little exaggerated at times, but I will like 99% of the time never put something in the title or thumbnail that doesn't have something to do with the video. I think there was one time when I did that and I felt really bad about it afterwards. And what really sucked is it was like a really, really well um, received video as far as views and stuff like that go. And it was like my highest earning video at one point, and then I was like, well, shit, I see why people do this, but it just feels so crappy to do. So I haven't done it again. Usually, sometimes I'll just, um, like, I'll jokingly do it. Like, when one of my comments video was like, how to beat Sonic Fox, and it's just a recurring joke with me and, <laughs> you know, the patrons and uh, SCB of my joke of how to beat Sonic Fox. So um, this title, we're going to call it <clears throat> YouTube Tips. How Dink Makes a Video. Now you'll see that this title kind of um, goes in well with the thumbnail, you know, and the thumbnail is kind of like, why is this here? It asks a question, and in the video we're going to tell the story and answer that question. So, as you can see, we've done this. So, um, I have an add-on tool called TubeBuddy. Uh, it's really, really useful, and I suggest that you download it. It's free. You can pay if you want extra stuff. I haven't gone that far in it yet. I'd, I've been fine with using it how it is. 
Um, but you'll see it tells you how many characters you have in your title that you can use, how many characters you have in your description that you can use, and most importantly, your tags. So your tags are basically how the world is going to find you. You need to make sure that you're on point with your tags. Um, so I'll show you an example here. So first we have to do a little description. I don't go too deep in the description, just try and make something that's related to the title and the tags. A lot of people have said that that doesn't really matter, so I just kind of do whatever. Here's some YouTube tips. Tips from Dink. Please don't make fun of my bad typing because you all just saw me mess that up like three times. <laughs> Okay, so here's like you got 500 characters, so you kind of want to like max this out as best you can. So we'll go. So I have some stock ones in there: Injustice 2 Guide, Injustice 2 Shujinky Dink, Injustice 2 Shujinky Dink. I really should have Shujinky Dink and Justice 2. That's something that I didn't learn actually until like the end of Mortal Kombat X, when I found like I'd always have tags like uh, Liu Kang Flame Fist combos, and I like um, didn't really realize that people have been searching for Flame Fist Liu Kang. And I didn't realize that, oh, you could just switch those two around. And as soon as I switched those tags and, like, adding a tag with one thing in front of the other, it made a huge difference. I got way more views. Um, so we're going to do something like that here. So we'll go Injustice 2, Firestorm, because we, we were playing Firestorm. Then we go Firestorm, Injustice 2, Injustice 2, Firestorm gameplay, Firestorm, Injustice 2 gameplay. Oh, for fuck's sakes. That knows I already uploaded this. Hold on. We'll get back here. Okay, so we're back at the upload screen here. Um, I just uploaded like a, a non-edited video, so hopefully it doesn't kick me out again. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, using specific tags like this is really important if you're a smaller YouTuber because then you'll get the influx of people like maybe some of the big guys, they don't need to use these tags as much anymore. So if someone searches for this exact phrase, your video is going to come up uh, more likely because you're more specific with that tag. And if your tag exactly matches what they searched, then that gives you a higher chance of being viewed by the world. Um, so again, we're going to go Firestorm Injustice 2 Combos then Injustice 2 Firestorm combos. And just because we were playing Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle Injustice 2 combos, Injustice 2 Blue Beetle combos, Injustice 2 Blue Beetle gameplay, Blue Beetle Injustice 2 gameplay. So now we're getting close. You can see we're getting close to the uh, the 500 mark limit. So you can just start adding some random stuff like Blue Beetle, Firestorm, combos, just some stuff like that. Like if you're if you're a bigger person than yeah, like a bigger YouTuber, then you don't really need to be as specific with that because you got the views and you got the watch time, and that's what YouTube wants is how many people have watched total minutes watched on your videos. That's what they look for when they promote your videos. So <clears throat> let's say. I put out a video and a thousand people watch it for four minutes, so it's got four thousand minutes of watch time. Um, we say you got someone like Caboose XBL who's got like a hundred thousand people who watch two minutes of his video. Even though they watched less of his video, he's still got more minutes watched than me because he had more eyes on it. And that's how YouTube kind of decides who to promote and who not to and that kind of stuff. So. Um, basically that's it so I think that's it for now we're going to add our thumbnail on here there we go so we've added our thumbnail and now we just gotta wait for it to process and then we can finish the rest of it okay so now our video is rendered and uploaded and good to go so the first thing I usually do here is I go to end screen and annotations it's gonna give us a weird screen for this one because I didn't actually have my end screen in here um, and then we put video or playlist best for viewer is always recommended has a high click rate for myself and again like I did before usually put them on the left side just makes sense it's as consistent right people like consistency I think we're creatures of habit so that's in that'll be on the last 20 seconds of every video uh, oh, stay. We want to save that. Save that before you leave. Then you get your monetization going. Make sure this is green. Sometimes it's yellow and that's super annoying and I hate it. <laughs> and if your video is over 10 minutes long, you get to add, put an ad wherever you want. 
Um, I try not to put them like right at the start of videos, like at least five minutes or later, because I feel like nobody wants to start a video. There's always one at the start of the video, and no one wants to watch an ad like right in a row. I've seen some YouTubers where it's like the amount of ads they have on there is ridiculous. It's like 20 or so ads in like a 30 minute video. It's crazy. So my rule is usually if it's 10 minutes to like 20 minutes, I'll put one ad. If it's 20 minutes or longer, I'll put two, and then one after the video too. So somewhere in the middle like that so it's or like a part that someone might want to watch the rest of kind of um, cliffhanger ads or whatever they're called um, and then he's usually I schedule it for 9 p.m. my time whatever day it is it's boxing day so but today I'm not gonna do that I just wanted to show that to you we'll leave it private for now because this isn't an actual video like if you watch like the first few seconds of it Yeah, first few words are for fuck's sakes, really. This is just like a raw thing that I uh, that I threw together. So um, edited it down. So then you can go to cards, add a card. Like, uh, I don't know, there's me swearing again. So at some point I'll be like, yeah, check out my friend I Sunnyside. And you choose a video playlist, and then you grab the uh, uh, video if you want to link to one of their videos, or you can go uh, channel. And find the channel put that in there and then put your card in so it, it's really good one of the good things about cards is um, if somebody goes from your video to somebody else's video via a card or like a end screen thing um, you get credited for the watch time that they stay on on that channel so like if if I had this video here, you watch this video, then you clicked on the card and went to I Sunny Side's video for whatever gear thing he's he's making, and you watch that whole video, that would add on to the watch time that I'd get. So it's uh, it's a cool way of linking it and really helping everybody out. So he gets the eyes on him from the bigger YouTuber, the YouTuber gets the watch time on him, and therefore gets more promoted himself. So it's it's it really links into each other quite nicely. It's got a good community feel to it and, and uh, gives me more incentive to help out the, the little guys, right? So, but that's about it, I think, guys. That's really all that uh, all that I have to say about making a video. I hope you found this helpful. As always, if you did, leave a like, because it really helps me out. And subscribe, because we make videos every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff, and we'll see all you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.